Global Medical News Network. This is Miriam Tucker reporting from the 27th annual Pittsburgh Schizophrenia Conference. What happens in a disease like schizophrenia is that for a number of reasons, a, a number of faulty genes as well as environmental factors may interact to produce a state of risk which in turn interacts with the bumpy road of adolescence producing psychiatric symptoms that emerge in the form of psychosis. How does one prevent this illness? One approach is to identify young individuals who have a family history of schizophrenia in a first or second degree relative. The other approach is to identify individuals who may not necessarily have such family history but are beginning to show signs and symptoms of subtle psychotic or um, neg negative symptoms or cognitive impairments. That second approach is what we call the clinical high-risk approach. Both these kinds of individuals when followed up have a likelihood of about 30 to 40 percent of converting to a psychotic disorder. It is in this population that uh, one can develop controlled uh, interventions, studies, um, to see the efficacy for preventing psychosis. Even though we have good tr treatments, we currently do not have effective interventions or early preventions. One can modulate the inhibitory systems like GABA and glutamate early on. One can introduce antipsychotic medications in lower doses early on. One can use cognitive behavior therapy and cognitive remediation early on to enhance the brain's capacity to deal with cognitive and emotional stresses. One can also build the building blocks of brain's membranes by using nutritional supplementations like omega-3 fatty acids. There are other possible hypotheses that are currently being investigated, but the um, summary is that there are many promising hypotheses and more research is needed to test, uh, to develop proof of concept ideas for these interventions. Mm -hmm.